everyone. We are here in Orlando, Florida at another Rosen property. This is the Rosen Closest Universal. At least that's what it seems to be called on a lot of booking sites, but uh, I think the official name is really just Rosen Inn. Problem is there's like five properties with that same name in Orlando. Anyway, I thought I'd be getting a little bit of a different experience of this one. We'd be in this tower that you're looking at here. But it turns out there's a little auxiliary building on the property. You can see this is it. It's just this little hallway with like eight or ten rooms down on each side. And yeah, we're in this side building that they call Building 2. At room number 260. So, let's check out what this Rosen is like. First off, right as you come to the door, they have these same very odd RFID locks that I have not seen anywhere aside from Rosen Properties. They're made by a company called Salto. They're not very good. <laughs> they get the job done. I was able to get in this time, but I've stayed in two other Rosen properties, and these things seem to get jammed up all the time, so I'm not sure if that was the best purchase. They're really wonky things, too. Or basically, there's this privacy button that you can press that I guess will just give people the red light if they try to scan a key into the door. You also have a secondary latch here, which is very securely attached to the door frame. So we're doing pretty well in the security department. You can see the map in the room is just the map of this auxiliary building. Like I said, it's about 10 rooms on each side, four floors tall. Kind of funny that I got stuck over here, but uh, still interesting to check this place out. A lot of Rosen properties are like this, where it's just sort of like a maze of a bunch of interconnected buildings. They're always interesting. One thing I loved when I first came in is this very vintage looking like motel light switch that's built into the door frame. It's kind of cool that survived the test of time. Controls this light up here. And really quick here with my back to the door, I'll go ahead and pan out, show you the room. And yeah, this seems like a very nicely updated, older, you know, motel style room, basically. So, starting off here in the front, I actually pushed this table back into the corner a little bit just to uh, free up the area in front of the AC unit. They had this air conditioner turned off when I came in the room, so I figured it needed all the help it could get to get the Florida humidity out of here. Uh, but it's a nicer, uh, you know, a Mana P-Tac. It has the constant fan option enabled, which is always really nice, and it's putting out a lot of nice, cool air, so we're definitely off to a good start. The filters are a little bit dirty, but the airflow is still pretty good. Got a nice big window in the front of the room with some drapery here that's in very nice shape. And you see we have a view of the pool. All of this looks like it's in excellent condition. These are actually blackout curtains too, by the looks of it, which is always nice to see. So one thing I've noticed that the other Rosen buildings that are kind of built in the same style, they definitely didn't make these rooms any bigger than they absolutely had to. So because of that, this table was probably a little bit of a tight squeeze. I'm kind of debating if the room would be better off without it. But yeah, you've got the table, you have two full-size beds with some pretty nice-looking linens on them. And then you have the uh, rest of the furniture kind of lined up along this wall over here. The furniture actually looks like pretty quality stuff. Like, this is sort of what I would expect to see maybe in a brand a tier or two higher than this. They actually, they managed to use the limited space in this room very effectively. Like one thing, because the room is so small, it doesn't actually have a closet. So they just sort of use this wardrobe unit in its place, which works pretty well. They also leave a little bit of space between the bathroom and this where you can put the ironing board. It's also big enough where you can stick a suitcase in here. You got your chest of drawers, TV, and then this uh, funny little desk here over on the end with an easily accessible outlet. This is sort of an old school thing that you don't really see too often. I see it more in Mexico than I do in the States where they actually leave you an envelope to tip housekeeping if that's something that you want to do. It's kind of neat that they personalize them here. But yeah, overall, I mean, I'd say that uh, in terms of the visual appeal and, you know, furnishings and such for a budget hotel room in Orlando, which is really what this is, this is very good bordering on excellent. To put it in perspective, this room for the night was about $70, which in Orlando is pretty good. And there are no resort fees or parking or any of the other things that a lot of places up and down International Drive will try to do. 
So each bed oddly has three pillows, but they seem like pretty decent pillows. And actually this one will be my bed. So I'll go ahead and make this one the one that I tear apart. But yeah, the pillows all look to be in actually very nice condition. They feel pretty new. These are pretty quality sheets too. Yeah, nothing sketch going on here. Take a look at the rest of this bedding here. So I could see some wrinkles. So I'm guessing that they have the old school mattress protectors on here. That does appear to be the case. They actually have two mattress protectors on this thing. No, actually it really is one of the old fashioned style ones. I think what they have going on here is that this is a queen size mattress protector on a full size bed. So that's why it's bunching up a little bit. Kind of an odd choice. The other odd thing I've noticed, and this is the case in every Rosen I've been to, is that they don't use fitted sheets. They just use a flat sheet and housekeeping knows how to tuck it in, which I just messed it up, but they know how to tuck it in so it uh, feels like a fitted sheet. Maybe that's just to simplify laundry. I don't know. I really haven't seen a lot of other properties do this. The mattress looks to be pretty much immaculate. I mean, even on the mattress protector, there's not a hint of like a stray hair, a stain, anything. Really, this bed looks about as close to perfect as you're going to find in terms of cleanliness. So we got triple sheeting here, lots of flat sheets. So you got a flat sheet there, flat sheet on top, and then a flat sheet on the top of that. So we have two sheets and then kind of like a, a quilt in between them. Which just feels like a pretty hefty quilt, so especially given the tropical climate, I'm sure that is more than adequate. But yeah, it's a pretty nice bed. One thing I thought was kind of interesting here was the design choice to put these like sliding barn doors on the bathroom. I guess it's kind of nice because if you're splitting the room, you can sort of section this off and you have privacy in this little space as well as in the actual bathroom in there. But real quick out here, they managed to class this up pretty well, actually, given the limited space. There's a sink that has a lot of room around it, comparatively speaking, to the rest of the room. All the other uh, bathroom amenities like go up on top of this cabinet here. So that's where you've got your ice bucket, coffee maker, everything of that nature. Got your micro uh, microwave and mini fridge that are also in this same cabinet which we are looking spotless and spotless. Mine is a little bit of rust on the racking, but big deal. Actually some pretty nice linens. Let's take a look in the bathroom. Oh yeah, I forgot about this Rosen quirk. They always give you a bath mat. Bath mat is, I don't know, an odd choice, especially this type because I just can't imagine how you go about cleaning something like that from guest to guest. Maybe they have a way, I don't know. But I don't really feel that, especially because they have an anti-slip coating in the tub that just kind of seems unnecessary. They've got a water-saving toilet here with a, two flush options on it. Everything looking nice and clean. Even behind the toilet looks pretty good. Shower curtain looks great. This bathroom probably would have been like when they were building the place, it would have been nice to have an overhead light because this one light is pretty dim. But with the limited lighting, I mean, it looks like all of their grout lines and caulk look phenomenal in this tub. They definitely have a good maintenance program here. Tub, like everything else, looks spotless. Really the only thing I could find here to criticize that the shower head has a lot of caked on residue on it. Try this out. That's about what I expected. That's marginally better. At least the pressure is pretty good. But yeah, they could stand to, really this might be more than giving it a uh, like a CLR bath, that might be a matter of replacing it at this point. Okay, so we got a bum shower head, dim lighting. That's really about it. I mean, 
Same assessment with the other Rosens that I've stayed at. If you're looking for a affordable option with a good location in Orlando, it seems really hard to go wrong with these places. I'm impressed again, but as always, let me know your thoughts in the comments. For now, that is it.